how is IVF done? The procedure is relatively simple compared to what it was two decades ago. After the initial recruitment of the patient and an AMH test to determine what dose of injection she needs and an ultrasound to see if she needs a hysteroscopy before the procedure, the patient is then started on a stimulation protocol from either the second day of the period which is known as a short antagonist cycle or from the mid luteal phase that is from the 21st day of the period which is a different protocol known as a long agonist protocol. Both protocols have been in use in centers all over the world over the last 20 years. Both are equally successful but each one has some advantages and disadvantages. Now once the protocol is started from the second day, I shall describe the antagonist protocol first. FSH injections are started from the second day of the period. From the sixth or seventh day, we start follicular monitoring. When the lead follicle reaches 14 millimeters in mean diameter, we also start giving an injection called cetrorelix or ganirelix, which will help to prevent the eggs from releasing before we are able to pick them up for IVF. Both the injections are then continued until two or three lead follicles are 18 millimeters in mean diameter. At this time, we give the last injection of HCG for inducing final maturation of the eggs and at 36 hours post this injection, we admit the patient, give her a short anesthesia for about 5 minutes which is relatively safe and with the transvaginal ultrasound, we retrieve the oocytes into a test tube which is then passed on to the IVF laboratory. The eggs are identified under the microscope. The same time, the husband gives a semen sample which is processed, the sperms are washed and added to each egg in what is known as four well culture dishes in the IVF laboratory. The next day after 20 hours, the eggs are checked for fertilization. The fertilized eggs are scored for the, what is known as a 2PN scoring and segregated as per the quality of the 2PN score. After another 24 hours, the best embryos which are expected to be at a four cell stage, two of the best embryos are then replaced back into the uterine cavity by a simple procedure known as embryo transfer which is usually done in just about a minute, very simple, quite painless, can be done under ultrasound guidance if we feel that the patient has a difficult history or a previous difficult embryo transfer in the past. With this you can expect a 40 to 50 percent chance of pregnancy in the fresh cycle. The surplus embryos are frozen by a new technique called vitrification. This has come as a big boon to all IVF centers because the success rates with conventional slow freezing and embryo transfer were just about 20 percent but with the new technique of vitrification they have shot up to as high as 50 to 60 percent with frozen embryo transfer. So if the cycle fails the patient does not have to go through the entire process again. She just comes for an embryo transfer of the frozen embryos and expects the same pregnancy rate of 50 percent per cycle. So this was in short how the antagonist or the short protocol works. For the long protocol it is quite similar but there are some more injections which are started about 10 days before the menstruation and then continue in the same fashion until the egg retrieval and the embryo transfer procedure is done.